Welcome back to another Hexploits video. So, all right. In the last video, we have said we're going to be doing a comparison between the Flipper Zero, I have their M5 stick plus two, and their first M5 stick, right? So, all right. Let's set it. Flipper Zero versus their M5 stick C plus two and their M5 stick C. All three of these can run wireless for exploits, but also which can, well, which one's the best? So let's start off with the Flipper Zero. Here we go, right? Just out the box is just normal toy. I call them Tamagotchis, but they can be powerful in the wrong hands. But starting with the Flipper Zero, this, this is their all-in-one cyber multi-tool, right? It has sub gigahertz, RFID, NFC, IR, GPI, bad USBs, depending what scripts you're running, the list goes on. It's a good and beautiful UI custom framework like Unleashed. That's where it has on here. It has stock, um, it's got stock uh, Flipper Zero framework on it, but on top of it, I put my Unleashed framework, which I flashed it through my phone, right? Which I'll be making a short video about it. It will be much more easier because it's so simple, so quick. Um, there's no need for me to make like a 20 minute long video about it. So, you know, it's even acts as a terminal for external boards like, you know, these ones. This is quite, you know, overkill in my opinion because uh, it's got Wi-Fi, LF and RF. You have switches at the top to change your modes. Obviously, it won't work on every single mode. It does depending on what switch you're on. You have your RT and your boot. Boots to flash uh, when you before you plug into your computer. When you're plugging it in, hold it down and it will literally flash blue. That means it's in the boot. I'll show you guys how it works in the next two upcoming videos. And then you have your RT, which is your reset button. And at the back, you have your RX and TX, depending on what you're trying to use, your UTRs and stuff like that. And you have your own female clips, right? And this only accepts uh, female clips because these are male clips, obviously. You have your SD card slot, which is quite nice because you can store some things on it. I haven't really figured out what these do yet. I'm going to get to it. I'm still learning. Um, so, yeah, in my opinion, it's quite nice. It's Type-C, so it's user-friendly. Um, this one, I paid 189 This, 36.40 I paid. And it came with three antennas. So can't really complain for how much, you know, this costs. But obviously, some people don't have that budget. So let's start with their second one, which is their M5 stick C, the red one, or orange, whatever you think it is. It in, in person looks red, and camera, I'm looking at it now, and it looks orange. Right, so you have it, your breakdown at the back. You have your pins here. Type C as well, which is user-friendly, amazing. To turn it on. I think this one, when I flashed it, is running Nemo. Yeah, is it? Wait for it to load. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is running Nemo. You have your clock, bad TV, which works. Bluetooth works, Wi-Fi works, you know. Very simple, you know, UTR, whatever you want to call it. To turn it off, you just hold down the button. If it will turn off. And it turns off, you know, quite simple. But <clears throat> my opinion now is the OG M5C, right? Everyone knows what this is. Components are durable and runs ESP32. This little module does. Prefer for the lightweight Wi Fi and Bluetooth attacks using uh, Nemo. But you can flash Madeira Framer on here, which I'll show you in a minute. But it goes less. On the RAM, basically, it's slower screen and smaller battery compared to their newer Plus 2, <clears throat> which I'll show you guys now. Here we go. This is their new, well, it's been out for a while now. They're basically fairly new M5 stick C Plus 2. So, a little thing run down about it. It's got everything the same as this one. Nothing really changes. But this one, on the other hand, is... A little bit more powerful, it's got longer range. Um, it's booting into their obviously Modera framework by Just Call Me Coco. And you can see there's there's Wi-Fi. Uh, yeah, there's Wi-Fi, there's Bluetooth. 
like for example sniff uh bluetooth attacks like there's so many there's 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 literally sour apple swift spam samsung be samsung uh google flipper uh spam all spoof even air tags right they can sense air tags right so to go back you go all the way back back and you have devices bluetooth wi-fi this also does a lot of wi-fi attacks as well <clears throat> so entering there basically <clears throat> this is a little bit i bought this i think i got scammed on this one this one came from australia and i think i paid like 50 for this which normally they're like fiver on the raspberry pi shop you can literally buy this one this one even though it's new i paid like 24 because i bought it on raspberry pi website i'll link everything down below uh, so you guys can go check it out don't know depending where you're watching it from your stay or depending where you live it's going to be different but talking about this one the yellow one enter the F m5c stick plus two the upgraded version bigger screen not really to be honest with you guys can't really see the difference they're literally same size so it's bollocks <clears throat> uh better battery more suit stable for performance yes that's correct faster storage it has internal storage if you're flashing modera and using it for standalone payloads the plus two is go to go esp same litchi software as this one just some components a little bit improved nothing nothing major so if you had to choose which one go for the newer one there's more flashable frameworks on the newer one than this one because this is quite outdated i'm pretty sure it's going to run perfectly fine but just go with the newer one trust me <coughs> right so what's the verdict right the flipper zero right so let's go all of them together here we go right my screen's inverted so bear with me right so you know the verdict is that the Flipper Zero is a hacking hub built for everything, depending it all on which software you're running. Well, the M5 Stick Plus, well, the M5 Stick C is the reliable classic, but good for quick jobs, right? The Plus Two gives you the better performance, smoother UI, and more room to breathe. Yes, it does, because let's face it, it's quite user friendly. So when I go out or carry something, I only carry these two this is for bluetooth and other little things and this is for a little bit more direct with the board i rarely cut come with a board i normally just carry them to just go for round pair with the m5 with a flipper zero over the urt as i said you can we just have to order the female clips uh which are both ends and we can plug it in and it'll literally work exactly like our last video and you know now you're running scans, spoofing, beacons, or jamming Bluetooth straight from your pocket, which is quite insane what you can actually do with things. But use the Flipper Zero to control the board, use the boards to unleash wireless chaos, and then remember, it's not about the gear, it's about now how you create and get it with. Well, if you want to see more, uh, of this kind of content running down all the tools and stuff like that not just what we do on a web and teaching you guys how to write viruses and stuff like that the link down below any ideas you have and we'll do it if you want to see i think my friend's got an old car um which doesn't have encryption or rolling code we can see if we can use a flipper zero to catch their you know nfc or rfid from his car key and see if we can open his car key well his car with his key we can try that if he lets me um so you know we can try i have a dog and we can try if we can find his chip because i know these boards you know the flipper zero can uh use their m5 sticks to find and crack you know um some bluetooths or jammer bluetooth or stuff like that just link it down below i'm more than happy to do anything there's so many more videos i want to try with this do with this um and show you guys how it works so hopefully you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one